It was two years ago that our Orlando region had a little fundraiser. And because of the generosity of the people in our region, we raised enough money to sponsor a university student. Her name is Corrine Kusa, and we were blessed to meet her on a recent visit to the Holy Land. We invited her to have dinner with our pilgrimage group, and I was blessed to sit with her. And I welcomed her to speak to everybody, you know, after dinner. And she was a little shy about that, but I'm sure it was the Lord who inspired her. She said, you know, I'm gonna do what I do, what I do well, and I'm a singer. I'm a singer in a band, you know, in the, in the Holy Land. And she said, I'm gonna sing Amazing Grace. And she sang that like an angel. where the Jesus is born in Bethlehem and Jerusalem and it's my history, you know. I can't live here. I told uh, uh, the father in uh, Franciscan, my father sick, and I can't uh, pay uh, to study in the University of Bethlehem. And he told me, uh, okay, I help you to study in Bethlehem University. It's very emotional. Um, um, nobody can can describe how how hard it is to stay in such a country, and uh, nobody can describe how I feel. Uh, in 1900, you had 13.2 percent of the population were Christians. Today, it's under two percent. Most church officials are saying that in 60 years. If nothing is done to stem this Christian exodus, then Christianity will disappear from the very place where Christ founded his church. And all we're going to have are empty religious monuments and museums and no living worshiping community. And that is why the Franciscan Foundation is the first Catholic organization to take up that challenge, to let the people in the United States know what is happening and to ask for their support. I had this opportunity to get a, a full scholarship to study uh, the dentistry. Otherwise, maybe it might be impossible for me to continue this studying. They made my dream come true, actually. The people, they are so kind. Palestinian, some people, they think Palestinian, they are terrorists. They are not. They are people. They love us. I had preconceived notions of, you know, you know, because you always hear, oh, Muslims are this, and Arabs are that, and, you know, the Jews, and blah, blah. They're people. They're people just like us. And when you can have just a conversation with them, they're very down to earth for the most part. They, they'll tell you, you know, what their life is like. I don't want it to become a museum. I, don't, I live in Orlando. I don't want it to be Disney World. I want it to be that sacred place. I want to go in and, the, and have them be able to go into the Holy Sepulchre and hear the friars singing. That would all change without the Christians there. The money for the foundation and what we want to raise is helping people. It's helping children. It's helping young people with families starting off. It's helping single young people getting an education. It's helping them find jobs. And I mean, these are just basic things. Some of them have to go through checkpoints. Some of them can't get out of their own area to find work. And that is where the differences come in. You know, if I could not leave Leesburg to do something without going through checkpoints, it would put a whole different spin on life. You give chance to the minority Christian minority in this uh, country to stay here, to letting uh, their children, their families, their boys, their girls to go and uh, to get more educated. I'll, I'll tell them really thank you. 
educational programs uh, for elementary school students, that's one option. For university student, that's another option. When you think about the cost of education here, if I was to sponsor a child in my own school, it would cost a little over $6,000 a year. To sponsor that child in the Holy Land, I think is $800 for, and that's room, board, the whole thing. It's a good deal, <laughs> you know, it's a bargain. And these kids are getting the help that they would not get any other way. Then we have also job creation, and this helps uh, indigenous Christians in the Holy Land who otherwise would not have employment to have employment. The social, okay, programs like the, the Catholic Action Center, uh, Children Without Borders. And then the other way is uh, by improving the, the housing of the, of the local Christians. Uh, the foundation goes out and assesses needs and um, homes can be renovated and in doing so provides a better home for the, the Christian to live in and also creates jobs. I'm really thankful for them because if it hasn't been for them many people wouldn't have learned and went to the universities, have a job now, have life, maybe they changed life. We need all of us be responsible for our land, for our holy land. Our Jesus is there. Our faith is there. We need to support. When you just uh, drop a piece of food to somebody who's uh, uh, in the middle of the sea, who's uh, drowning, uh, you give him up. You just lift him, lift him up, and you give, yeah, you just hold on. Somebody will help you. And that's how I felt. It was amazing.